Hello, Amantis here. We are going to be covering the latest demo by Nomia Games, Aurora, the Lost Medallion. As always, instead of doing a let's play or a review, we are going with the reasons why you should be looking out for this game in the future. I'll be covering a little bit of the story without too many spoilers, game mechanics, and what makes this game worth watching on your wishlist, so stay tuned. So what is Aurora The Lost Medallion about? So far it is a point-and-click game set in space where the main themes are a coming-of-age story that is set in a fictional sci-fi world. The character you play is Aurora, the youngest inhabitant of this place called The Cave, who enjoys volunteering as the vulture in their hide-and-seek game as she and a group of kids prepare for something called The Pilgrimage, which we do not know much about at this point. Now, what makes this particularly intriguing is how the voice acting captures the way kids talk and interact with each other where you can see the different levels of relationships between the characters. Some of them were really fun to watch. In terms of game mechanics, it's very straightforward. Similar to most point-and-click games, so far the game only requires you to walk around and use items you find to solve the puzzles. There are occasions where your first thought-out solution might not work, but the great thing about this game is that there are hints, such as Aurora's commentary or information you get from the other characters that will help you move forward. Which brings me to the next point. What makes this game worth watching on your playlist? I actually first learned of this game through a newsletter and given a demo is available, it just made sense to give this game a try. Aside from the charming 2D hand-drawn artwork, the puzzles themselves are very well thought out as most of them in the demo require you to outsmart the other kids during the hide-and-seek portion of the game. The interface is also super smooth and easy to use, and double-clicking on anywhere in a room lets your character move faster. Story-wise, you get snippets of narrative text that tells you some of the events that are happening in Aurora's world. It's only a little bit of information, but still intriguing enough to make you want to find out more about the story when the game's full release is out. If you're interested in giving Aurora the Lost Medallion a try, the demo is now available on Steam. Currently, there is no information about the full release yet, but it's definitely a great game to put on your radar by wishlisting. I'll put details and links in the description box below for you to check out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and should you manage to play the game, let me know what you think in the comments section. If you're looking for other recommended games on Steam, I'll be linking a playlist of videos in the end screen for some of my other topics. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.